want to describe how to composite drill hole data in GEMS. If you look at the drill hole data we've imported in a previous video, we can see that some, if you look at the assay table down here, we can see that some samples are quite short and some are quite long. Like this is a really short one here, it's less than a meter long, and this one is uh, nearly four meters long. You may want to, oftentimes what we want to do is to do a, this conversion on drill hole data such that um, small samples are squished together or composited together to make uh, a, f a fewer number of, of larger, larger composites. So that's what we're going to go through in this exercise. First thing we need to do is we're going to build a, another table in this drill hole database to hold those composited intervals. So to get that done, we're going to go up to Workspace, Create or Modify Workspace to bring us into this window here. And I'm going to click on this Open button and select the uh, drill hole database, the HDB that I want to work in. So we can see it's got these three tables, header, survey, assay. I'm going to hit tab a couple times to add a new table, and I'm going to call it comp. And that's going to be an interval table. Down here, I'm going to need to add some fields. So I got the whole idea of the from and the to, but I need a place to store the composited grade values. I'm going to make that a, select the real field type so that I can store um, numbers with decimal places in them. Then I'm going to add two new ones, and these are, these are specifically defined already in gem so I can actually select uh, from what I wanted to want to do select the field name from this list of key keywords I'm going to select comp ID and this comp ID it needs to be of type string and then I need a length field and this one can be just a, a real value as well I, I'd like to type it in, but you just select from this drop-down list. Okay, so I'm going to click Save. So I've got a place to put my composited values, and also I need these two extra fields because for, for GEMS to, to, to do its magic with this compositing routine it has. Okay, so we'll get out of there. All right, now we gotta follow a couple steps, and they're all pretty well organized underneath this drill hole menu item under compositing. We're gonna do this one, we're gonna come back and do this one, and then come back and do this one. Okay, so first up, compositing profile. We're gonna create a new profile. I'm just gonna call this uh, drill hole grade. Let's do that and then fill out this information. So I want to work, use this workspace. So it's this, again, it's this drill database we have, DHDB. And it's asking me what, what which table in that database is the composite table. And it's the one I've labeled comp. And it's actually asking me in that table, there should be a field designated as length. Which one is it? I'm going to go down here. It's not the grade one, it's the length table. Okay, I usually skip these, so don't worry about those for now. And now we're going to need to fill in this table. I'm going to fill in one of these lines because we only have one grade field to composite. But the first question is destination field. When we, GEMS does its math and creates a composited value for uh, grade, where is that value going to go in the composite table. It's going to go in the grade field. The next question is what source, where is this 
where's the original data going to come from that gets composited? And that's going to come out of the assay table. Source field. The question is, well, in that assay table, you got several fields. Which one actually holds the values that we're going to get composited? And that's going to be that grade field. And that should do it for now. Click OK. So now I've got this profile um, set up that lets gems know where the composited values start and then where should, should they be put once, they're, once they've been calculated. So now for the next step, we'll go to drill hole compositing. We just did this one. Now we're going to prepare the composite table. Select which workspace. I want to use all the holes. So select table for composites. Where are the composites going to go? They're going to go in the comp table. Now, in this one, it's there's different ways of chopping up the intervals. And um, I am almost always using this one, equal length option. So what I'm going to do is effectively what I'm saying is we're going to take each drill hole, we're going to break it up into uniform lengths and composite based on those intervals. And the composite length I'm going to use, you know, deciding this is outside the scope of this video, but somewhere I've, outside of this I've had a discussion with, uh, with other people and myself to say, determine what, what composite length we want to use. And we're just going to use, in this case, 10. I'm going to accept all these default settings and not worry about them. Click OK. OK, so I'm going to go to, just to prove that actually did something, let's go to, I'm going to right click on Drill Hole Database and Edit Data so we can see this view. I've got this composite table here, which we've added. And I want to just show that because of that last routine we did, it filled part of this table in. It gave me a bunch of intervals that are uniformly 10 meters long. Now I've got a place to hold grade values and length values, but they have not yet been filled in. And that's automatically populated this comp ID field. So this, based on that last exercise, we've created this table and partially filled it in, but we need to then instruct gems to fill in these two columns here. So we'll get out of this, go back up to drill hole, go back down to compositing. So we've done this, we've done this, now calculate composites. And again, go through the exercise. Well, which workspace are we working with? Select that one which compositing profile we want to use. We've only got one, so we only defined one, so that makes that choice easy. And then how, which holes are we going to work with? We're going to work with all of them. Okay, and that was pretty quick. I'm going to go back to the, this view of the drill hole database. Go to the comps table. And now we can see that some of these values are now filled in. I get a lot of NC or no composite values as well and that's really because in this hole the assays were only taken for really only between 84 and 102 meters. Um, the rest of the hole is left unsampled. So for that reason our composites are blank in those regions and not until you get into the 80s uh, do you start seeing some numbers and then they after um, 810 or 110 meters deep they drop off you don't see anymore because we just don't there are just no original assays to composite okay so that's how you go through drill hole compositing